It's not often that you drive a new model where the name has been more of a talking point than the car itself. But that's the case with this, the new BMW 4 Series. It replaces the 3 Series Coupe, which is probably the reason for all of the hysteria about the name change. But come on people, times change, let's get over it. So to help ease you into a world that now includes a 4 Series, I'm going to play this first drive by a game of 4. So come on, let's get going, what are we waiting for? You'll have to splash out an additional £3,000 on a 4 Series over an equivalent 3 Series saloon. So you're going to want people to notice the difference. So what are the big four key talking points with the styling? It's longer, wider and lower than the outgoing 3 Series Coupe and the current 3 Series saloon, bolstering that sporty presence. And it's more than a 3 Series saloon with two less doors. Every body panel is different bar one, the bonnet. Many design cues come from the 4 Series concept, most significantly this angular bumper and headlight design at the front. These gills that sit behind the front wheels are more than just for aesthetics. They actually distribute the airflow from the front bumper along the side of the car to improve efficiency. But they look quite cool as well, that real muscle car feel. So other than the looks, it's the driving performance that coupe buyers really look for. So how does the 4 Series stack up? The model we're testing is the 420D, and BMW says one in three 4 Series sold in the UK will be this model. Now the engine is flexible and punchy, so it's really usable on all UK roads, but we would like it to be a bit more refined. There's that distinct diesel engine grumble, especially when you're driving in town and when you're accelerating hard. It will be the cheapest to run though, See our full tested figures for this engine in the current 3 Series saloon by clicking the link. The lower, more grounded ride, along with the longer wheelbase and the wider track, makes the 4 Series feel distinctly different to the 3 Series saloon. It's still got that very BMW-like, sharp and really responsive steering, but it seems to hold the road nicer than the saloon does. Like all modern BMWs, the 4 Series comes with adaptable driving modes as standard, it's comfort mode that best irons out all the bumps and ruts in the road, but the smallest wheel size you can opt for is 17 inches, and all models come with run flat tyres. That means the ride is always going to be relatively crashy. The model we're testing comes with a six speed manual gearbox, but if your budget will allow, we'd stretch to the eight speed automatic, which comes at about £1,500 premium. On long, arduous journeys, it's calm and relaxing, but when you stick it into Sport or Sport Plus mode, it offers really sharp, crisp gear changes. It's priced on a par with closest rivals the Audi A5 Coupe and Mercedes C-Class Coupe. It might be £3,000 more than an equivalent 3 Series saloon, but it's better equipped. SE trim gets Xenon headlights, parking sensors front and rear, and heated seats. There's very little change with the 4 Series interior layout to any other modern BMW, but that's no bad thing. It's simple, clean, and all of the main controls are within easy reach of the driver. The sloping roof does mean there's less headroom in the back of the 4 Series than the 3 Series saloon, but there's enough if you've got a young family and need to seat two children in the back. Okay, so I might be loving this 4 theme a little bit too much. So I'll try not to dwell on the number while I'm giving my four point first drive verdict. Number one, it is a coupe, but don't think of the four series as an out and out sports car. While the looks might suggest otherwise, it's not formidable to drive. Number two, it's surprisingly practical, enough for family use. It's got a massive boot and there's enough room in the back for 2.4 children. Number three, it looks great, and that combined with a BMW badge means it's gonna retain its value for the foreseeable future. Finally, number four, it's ultimately picked up where the three series coupe left off, and the four series is still the pick of its class. As a complete package, overlook the Audi A5 coupe and the Mercedes C-Class coupe, and go straight for the BMW four series. 
you could say it's a foregone conclusion. Click on one of the links below to read the full first drive report on the BMW 4 Series or read full reviews of the Audi A5 Coupe and the Mercedes C-Class Coupe.